Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is Ample Hills Coffee Toffee Coffee. Ample Hills, a US brand, do great flavors, got a great ethos. Coffee is a big thing in this house, especially for me. I can't do anything without a cup of coffee in the morning. Toffee and more coffee. Coffee, toffee, coffee. I wonder how many times I say coffee in this video. Let's put a counter up here somewhere. Anyway, if you wanna know how to make it, stick around, we'll show you. So for this ice cream, put your ingredients in a pan and warm them gently. Add in your 10 grams of instant espresso powder and heat to 65 degrees or whatever temperature your stabilizer needs. If you don't wanna use stabilizers, you can just leave them out. Once up to temperature, remove from the heat and add your cream and then put it in a fridge to cool completely. For the toffee, put 250 grams of butter and 200 grams of sugar in a pan and get it melting. I've added five grams of espresso powder here. It won't combine until the sugars and butter do, but don't worry, it will just sit on top up until that stage. Get it all up to 125 to 130 degrees C, at which point you can pour into a decent sized pan lined with baking parchment. I've used an eight by eight, but to be honest, a slightly larger would have been better. Leave that to cool completely, then melt your 100 grams of milk chocolate and add one teaspoon of pure coffee extract. Mix that well and spread over the toffee. Cool it completely in the fridge and then put it in the freezer. When your base is chilled, get it churning as usual. Now's the time to remove your chocolate covered toffee from the freezer and smash it up or chop it into small pieces. Put them in a tub and put them straight back in the freezer as we don't want them to get soft at this stage. When it's all completely churned, load your tub as normal, layering with the coffee ice cream and the toffee pieces. When it's filled, put it in the freezer for at least three hours. Straight out the freezer, I'll oh, get some of that ice off. Look at that tub. This is witty chicken, apparently, going to Ample Hills. What a witty name. Anyway, let's get some scooped up into a bowl and see what it looks like. I mean, it looks great for a start, doesn't it? I mean, deep coffee ice cream. What is coffee toffee coffee? It's a dark coffee ice cream with espresso infused chocolate covered toffee pieces. Now, I couldn't really find any details about where the espresso and coffee flavoring is. They do make a point that they only use real espresso powder and natural coffee extract. So that's what we've done here. But because I can't get that exact, I've put coffee in everything. Coffee in the ice cream, coffee in the toffee, coffee in the chocolate. So there's a lot of caffeine in here, which is probably not what I need right now. So let's just dig in and see what it tastes like. This, whew, that is a good ice cream. Big coffee fan anyway, so only really make this one if you like coffee. Like the last one, mint. If you didn't like mint, don't try that. If you don't like coffee, really don't try this one. The, the coffee flavor is a real punch in the ice cream. It's super smooth texture, slight little chew to it too, which is really nice. The toffee, now I adjusted the toffee just a little bit to make it a little bit fudge-like, so it's not rock hard. When you bite through it, you even frozen straight out of the freezer, you can actually bite through the toffee without breaking your teeth. You get that coffee extract come through in the chocolate as well. All in all, a really nice, I mean, nice is an understatement, an excellent package of coffee, chocolate, and toffee. Uh, we must be up to, what, 30 times by now, I don't know. Ample Hills, Great artwork for their tubs as well. This is not gonna be the first one of theirs or the last one of theirs that we make. So stick around if you wanna see some more Ample Hills flavors made. 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stick around next week where we're gonna make a boozy Hagen Dars one. Thanks for watching and take care.